Shin. Oh. It's always an aspirational lofty goal of mine to stay out of a hospital, particularly in ER in any given calendar year. But sadly for 2024, we can put a big old red pen through it and I didn't even make Q1. Now I'm fine, I'm fine. There's a bit of an asterisk on this one. It was just a splash and dash to the Northern Beaches emergency department to get a couple stitches in, patch me up, clean out the gravel and on my way. I'm riding the Garigal Cascades today with Simo228 and Dave from DMMTB and that should give you the first warning that something's going to happen because we don't have a good track record as of late. We'll get to the incident shortly but right now we're riding Rockies then it's off to Flux where I have my little crash then finally finishing up at Double B. Too far away. Alright. It is pretty damn chunky through there. So that's why I let you go first, I don't know either. <laughs> Whoa! Whoa. <laughs> uh, everything else is just pretty janky like we did before yeah. up until that point. Uh, oh. Holy dooly. <laughs> I forgot how chunky that was. Alrighty. Big scary feature number one. Drop it. Oh, that was too slow. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> What's your Shin. Can I say, I've had my fair share of mountain bike crashes, but that one was the most painful that I have ever had. I was saying on the day, like five, 10 minutes after it happened, I was like, I was euphoric with pain. It was that incredible. All right, you wanna see it? Turn away if you're squirmish, it, it's not that bad. So when I first did it, I looked down and this is what I saw. I was like, mm, that's that's not good, but it wasn't, it wasn't enough to stop me riding. So this happened pretty early on in the day. So we were riding for a couple hours after this. Okay, so we finished up for the day, went home, jumped in the shower, and this was what I was looking at when I took off my sock. So there you go, that's a nice little gouge right there, a big old V. So that's what had to be stitched up. Everything else is just healing pretty well. So it was the most painful thing ever, but it was only like five stitches and it wasn't enough to stop me riding for the rest of the day. So let's continue on. Okay, a little bit more speed.
Yes. It looks even worse than last time. <laughs> that looked a little bit... Yep. <laughs> I thought I was about to land on top of you. Again. Alright, the impossible corner coming up. Going for it. Going in. See, I just crushed it first time. Come on. Yes. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Man. Oh, I don't. No, nah, I'm not going to do it. It's just a rim smasher at the bottom. After a mother's meeting, we've decided to go around. Was it that? No, here it is. That is spicy. <laughs> oh, stick. I don't know how anyone makes that. I think there's one decent drop still. Oh, come on, man. Every single landing's onto a janky rock. If I slip a pedal here, I'm gonna have to go to hospital. Not, not too bad.
All right, wrapping it up here now. To be fair, like, pff, pretty average riding from all of us all day. I hadn't been to the Cascades in ages. Simo was the same. Dave had never been in there, so these were not speed runs, that's for sure. But I think the Cascades is the kind of place where you need to put in some laps, keep it consistent, otherwise you just get caught out. So i got a couple more weeks for my leg to heal, but I will be back on the bike soon. So thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed. It really helps out the channel. Stay tuned, and I'll see you in the next one.